Hi YouTubers, this is another video from your friendly neighborhood reviewer Evelyn. Today we're going to be covering another true crimes video. This crime is truly shocking in so many levels, internationally and morally. This news article came from the Daily Mail. The headline reads, Iranian 17-year-old beheaded by her husband after she fled to Turkey was tracked down before she was dragged back home. So let's set the story. The article starts, an Iranian teenager who was beheaded by her husband after she fled to Turkey was reportedly tracked down with the help of authorities. Well, I can't even say what the young girl's name, Mona Hidari, 17, was dragged from a car outside the family home in Iran and butchered by Sajad Hidari, who was also her cousin. Yeah, I just don't get it. It's just shocking. She was killed after being found in Turkey by her father, identified only as Javad. He filed a complaint with the police in Iran, who also gave him her address according to reports in the Iranian media. The father is said to have traveled to the country with a translator and all the paperwork necessary to bring back to bring her back home, where she was then murdered to avenge the family's honor. Just why? Just why? Uh, now this is the most shocking part which leaves me disgusted. The victim was just 12 years old when she married to Sajad and then had a three-year-old son with him. Just come on, a whole childhood childhood lost if you want to put in, into perspective 3 17 like come backwards 16 15 14 years old when she had the baby for god's sake authorities have arrested the husband and his brother on charges of killing mona in revenge for adultery and leaving him somebody explained to me what's the justification for the husband mur murdering his young wife it was the justification to decapitate her gruesome footage showed the husband grinning as he held a knife in one hand and carrying what was said to be his wife's decapitated head in another just think about this the the sickness the, the psychoness about it the incident has shocked many people in iran where the legal age for marriage is 13 just why because you know prime age for, for reproduction i just don't get it speaking after his daughter's death javad defended the decision to force his daughter to marry at such a young age and added that the domestic violence he had allegedly fled from was normal i'm very fair to lots of people race gender creed religion but like what's you know the morality about this he also claimed that the husband had worked hard to provide for his young wife. The father described Sajid as a good husband, saying he worked hard and provided her with the best life. Wow, so that gives him every justification to decapitate her head. He just couldn't handle the fact that the, the woman didn't want, the girl didn't want to be with him anymore. Her father added, she was not forced to marry. To marry, yeah, right. In fact, the husband provided her with, with the very best of lives. Right, like obviously the 12 year old's gotta say, you know, yes to anything because that's her dad. It's true that there was fighting between them and sometimes there was violence and she would return home, but only stayed for two or three days and then he would pick her up and life would return to normal. These fights between husband and wife are completely normal and I don't think there was a problem as she did not ask for a divorce. And do you think that the husband would actually give her a divorce? He admitted that she was probably too young to marry but added we got a certification of confirmation that she was physically old enough to marry. So they see the women there as cows. The only thing useful is for reproduction and you can guess what and there was not any physical problems in the relationship. However, the family claimed that the husband was mocked and insulted by the fact that the wife had fled to Turkey with another man. <laughs> Small man ego, that's what it is. Images of her grinning husband allegedly holding the decapitated head of his teenage wife in one hand and a large blade in the other shocked the world as he allegedly took part in the honor killing with his brother. The macabre scene was filmed in the neighborhood of Kanshar Yar in the city of Avaz, the southwestern Iranian province of Kusintan. 
can't pronounce that word, on the February the 5th, the Women's Committee of the National Council of Resistance of Iran said that every time Mona expressed a desire to divorce him, her family pressured her to return home for the sake of their child. Local media said that the brother of Mona's husband wrapped her body in a blanket and dumped it as Sejal walked down the street with his wife's head, head in one hand and a large blade in the other. In the video, the suspect is seen grinning as he holds the teenager's head, teenager's head as he walks past locals. The chief of state security force said that motive for the killing was family, differ- <laughs> to have family differences. Mean- meanwhile, the state-run news site Rokna was reportedly shut down for publishing the story and the footage at the time of the incident. The NCRI's Women's Committee said, not a week goes by without some form of honor killing making headlines. Clerical regime's failure to criminalize these murders had led to a catastrophic rise in honor killings. In a report published in 2019, the state-run Shark Daily newspaper wrote an annual average of 375 to 450 honor killings were are recorded in Iran. I don't. What's the justification that you have five, six men there, like you know, cornering the women, or like two against one? You know, they can't be man enough to face that. You know, that the women have rights. The murders are more prevalent in Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Ilam, Sistan, and Bulgaristan. Some women's rights activists believe that the honor killings in Iran are officially justified as family differences. <laughs> you have arguments, but you don't go off and just because you have an argument with your spouse, your cousin, your brother, that gives you the right to chop off their head. For what? It's not even just probably, you know, in this case, one guy against the woman. They bring in their cousin, their friend, and then they all do it together. The catastrophic rise in honor killing in Iran is rooted in misogyny and the patriarchal culture institutionalized in the laws and society. Although the father, brother, or husband holds the knife, sickle or rifle, the murderers are rooted in medieval outlook in the ruling regime. The clerical regime's law officially denotes the women are second degree citizens owned by men. I'm sorry, but this is one of the reasons I'll never visit Pakistan, Iran, Turkey, all the places where, where I'm sorry to say, the Islam religion is prevalent. Because me, biologically as a woman, female of all the parts, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna feel safe whatsoever to go to these countries at all. And there's no justification, you know, the women in their country. As, these countries look to me that the information and the news shows that they seen as just cattle as just things to own until somebody can you know change my mind about <laughs> about the countries and the religion itself or provide evidence that not that not everybody from the islamic faith are violent if it doesn't justify you know their morals then i'll change my mind the suspect and his brother were reportedly arrested for the alleged killing. However, it's unclear, unclear what punishment they're likely to face. <laughs> when I saw this uh, news and the image, it was just shocking as hell. It's just shocking. I'm just sorry, but we, this is 2022. You would think that they could move on and progress. That's why these countries are never, ever going to have never ending war because science or logic or common sense or common decency is out the window. The only thing they're clinging to is just, you know, ancient scrolls that that have no clear interpretation from what I've seen in the documentaries and friends of the Islamic faith that each sector within the religion they have their own take of what the quran means and how you know and they interpret it their way to suit their needs for me killing is not justified in any sense especially against the vulnerable anyway youtubers this is the end of the video leave your comments down below and let me know your thoughts and feelings about this subject anyway thanks bye